Good afternoon, I'm back again. Oh, I hope you're all excited for my last video, but if not, we have a new one. So now we're really going to learn about the threefold flame. It is the beginning and the existence of who you are. So I want to call Mother, Father in to be with us and the essence of grace. And I want to request and send healing out to all those today who need healing. We're all the way around the earth and into the galaxy. For there's never too much healing for anybody, whether it's physical, emotional, whatever may be needed. Let's join together and just send healing light out to everyone so that they can become more of who they are. All right, so I have an image for you. It is from the foundation of St. Germain. And this is the full experience of a threefold flame. It is the yellow flame that I'll always... First off, it's about a quarter of an inch right now inside your heart, if you haven't worked on it. And what we have to do in the development is make it become large like this outside of you. You want to see, take that little one and see a huge yellow flame of wisdom up in front of you. And then start below the back of your feet on the right side and bring up a beautiful flame of pink over your right shoulder. Love. Now the other side, hello, is a blue flame behind your left shoulder and it is divine power. Now let me tell you, when you're on your journey, this is something that's very important. This flame right here, the divine power, is when you go to work on those issues of how you give your control to other people, to other institutions, to doctors. It's all right inside that flame where you can find help and move it into divinity so you can own and have confidence and own your own power. So the yellow represents the wisdom inside your heart. So there's a process that everyone must go through to bring their wisdom from here and what you've learned as a university student, let's say, into the wisdom of your spirit and your path that is full of so much more of all things versus what's in the head. So if you can get to where you can concentrate and bring your head and the intellect down into the heart and add it to your wisdom, there's not anything that you wouldn't know. For me, where I am, if I'm asked a question that I don't feel or sense it within me, it will be brought to me in a few seconds. And that's what having that wisdom so strongly anchored in the heart and so settled there, it will come. And the love, I would say everybody's still working on love, right? But the unconditional love is the hardest. We can love with condition, even with the smallest child. But when we really become unattached and allow ourselves to love without condition of receiving anything, this makes this plume become even larger and have a greater effect within your life. So let's do this together on how you're going to every day do this technique. If you meditate, this was, is something I would do if I were you before doing your meditation. All right. So we're going to first create a facade threefold flame outside of you. So from below the front of my toes, I see a huge, beautiful yellow flame reach up above my head. And behind my right shoulder, 
from deep below the back of my feet, I see a big, beautiful pink plume of pink. And then behind my left shoulder, I see a big plume of light blue behind me. This is what we have right now. So now we're going to reach into our own hearts where everyone's is a quarter of an inch big in the beginning. And you're going to reach and stretch it out in front of you to match the one we just generated. But this one's really you. And then we're going to take the little pink one and stretch it to fit the pink. Yes, the love. Infinite love. Then we're going to take the little blue light, stretch it behind you, and allow divine power to become you. Now, you might say, well, Fan Sophia, then what do I do? Then you have to learn to walk in life with those three plumes out around you, 24-7. Not an easy task, but it is doable. Many have done it before you. Many will do it after you. But it is some contemplation you may want to give to, well, why isn't that holding? Why isn't all the wisdom of the universe coming to me and staying there? In the beginning, you may hold it five minutes. Perhaps then a week or two later, you're holding it for an hour. You remember what I said before? It is those who do that walk quicker, more thoroughly, and become more. So it is a task that's yours, as it is everybody. You can also begin to just see it around you and go ahead and live life and just keep going back to that visual threefold flame. And it may get, I have one client, it's just getting larger and larger and larger, larger. So what do I know about that person? He's someone, going to be someone of the light. Big, 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 big. Because he can hold that light. So, we're all different. How much light and who you are doesn't matter. But it's about what does your fulfillment inside of your heart request of you. And desire of you. The desire of the heavens is for you to be the most you can be and to find happiness and peace. And for many people that is discovered as you journey upon the path and really understand what they are. I would say today peace to me is different than it ever was. And I really can't imagine going back to when I was young, um, let's say 17, 18, and knowing that peace existed within me, or 28. I just can't fathom it. It's hard because you reach a point where only peaceful things come and are around you or in your thoughts. But that's the wonderment. So, threefold flame, yellow in front of you, pink of love here, blue over here. And why do you think you give your power away to people? Something that you need. What do you think you are going to someone else to get? Well, probably number one answer is love. So now you're going to get my conversation about love is relationship and a divine relationship. It's about sharing love, not giving your love away, not trusting that someone else knows how to hold your heart better than you do. So contemplate that for a moment. What does that mean that you must love yourself, right? Yeah, this journey, like I said earlier, is about loving you. So here we have the big pink plume to help us with that, showering love upon us, 
Do we welcome it? Are we strangers to it? Do we allow that beautiful pink essence to encompass us, to let us feel the love that's been waiting for us to awaken to? What a concept, right? And for those of you who have confidence issues or empowerment issues, that light blue divine flame is attempting to embrace you to let you know that you have all you need. There is no reason for anyone to reach out beyond them for something. Now, so you might say to me, well, isn't it about reaching out to God? And I'm going to say to you, Mother, Father, God, live in your heart. They are within you. Whether you have awakened to it or not, they're there. They're there where your threefold flame was ignited. So as you journey upon that journey of surrendering and discovering more about all of it, all reveals itself. It has nothing to hide. It's just waiting, loving you while it waits, giving you plenty of stretch time to discover. And then one day it just hits you, perhaps. Oh, there's just got to be more. Well, there is more, a whole lot more. And you must be gentle with yourself. Because when you discover that, there's no judgment, no criticism. It's the love that is the magic. The love that embraces and holds all things and dissolves that which isn't true. So, lots to grow and understand. Please, write me questions in the comment that you would like me to talk about. Let me know what you're thinking about all that we have been doing on this channel together, even though you don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's a wondrous world to go deep within yourself and discover what you really are about and desire. Life can be challenging and perhaps too busy to discover. And I would say the biggest part of my path was when my hand was damaged and I had nothing to do but to sit, contemplate, and discover. And that's when I knew there's always more. There will always be more. And you don't ever miss out. You can't miss it out because your soul and what's coming forth in your soul is yours. No one can take it. No one can stop it. It's yours and only yours. So, I'm getting a little sappy. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a chitter-chatter. All right. I love it all. I hope you can tell that. Um, three full flame. Let it become a part of that beginning of the day. And then throughout the day, let it become strong and walk with you. And take note how much more assured do I feel when I walk with this flame around me. You're going to be surprised. There is a difference. So I challenge you. Try the threefold flame. Write me and let me know what happened. I can't wait to hear. So I wish to all of you many blessings and great happiness. And may all that you desire come to you. So we need to subscribe. Thumbs up, hit the bell, and share. How's that sound? Many blessings.